wanted to show you guys today that was suggested by a viewer from Turkey. And like I've said before, I'm always very excited to get your suggestions. And in fact, I put together a Google form in the description that you can easily give me a suggested problem. But I do want to point out that I kind of pick the problems at random, so don't feel bad if I haven't picked yours yet. And then before we get started, I want to make one more announcement. And that is, I've just started a summer research program with two students at my college where I work, Randolph College in Virginia in the United States. And on July 9th, they will be presenting their final kind of results from this research project. And it's going to be broadcast over Zoom. And I'd like to share the link with anyone that would like to see kind of the other stuff that I get up to. So maybe post in the comments if you'd be interested in um, joining us for that final presentation. Okay, let's look at the problem. We want to suppose that A is not equal to 16, but it satisfies the following like kind of radical expression, A plus four over the square root of A is equal to 17. And then we want to find A squared minus 18A plus three. So we wanna find this polynomial value evaluated at A, given this radical expression evaluated at A. So let's see how we can do that probably we want to take this radical expression and play with it until it looks like a polynomial expression. That's exactly how we'll start. So notice we can take this thing and rewrite it as 4 over the square root of a equals 17 minus a. But now if we square both sides, we'll get rid of the square root of a and then we'll have something which is easily manipulated into a polynomial expression. So let's say we square it with that squiggly arrow that's going to give us 16 over a equals a squared minus 34a plus 289. And I want to point out here that this 289 is 17 squared. So that's how we got that number. Next, what we'll do is multiply both sides of this equation by a. So we have a polynomial expression, which is you know, essentially what we're going for is some other polynomial expression of A. So that's going to give us 16 equals A cubed minus 34A squared plus 289A. But usually when we're talking about polynomials, we want to find their roots. So what we could do is subtract 16 from both sides. And that'll give us this cubic polynomial equals 0, a cubed minus 34a squared plus 289a minus 16 equals 0. Okay, but there's actually some hints built into this problem, quite a few hints in fact. Notice that we're supposed to assume that a is not equal to 16. And that's because a equals 16 is a really, really obvious solution to this equation right here. Notice we'd have 4 over the square root of 16, that's 4 over 4, which is 1, equals 17 minus 16, that's also equal to 1. But the fact that 16 is a solution to this initial equation, and we've manipulated this initial equation into this cubic polynomial, that means 16 is also a root of this cubic polynomial. But if 16 is a root of the cubic polynomial, that means we should be able to factor this as a minus 16 times some quadratic polynomial. We just have to figure out that quadratic polynomial. So we need an a squared term. We need to figure out the coefficient of a squared, but notice that's gonna be equal to one given the fact that we have a coefficient of one for this a cubed term. We need to figure out the constant term, but notice that that's gonna be plus one. And that's given the fact that we've got a minus 16 here and a minus 16 here. Now we just have to figure out the linear term, so the a to the first power term. We could do this a number of different ways. We could set this equal to maybe some variable times a, multiply it all out, and then solve some equation. Or we could take inspiration from the fact that we're looking for this polynomial this a squared minus 18a plus three, and look at this minus 18 and think, well, that would be nice if this factored as a squared minus 18a plus something. And then that's really just a guess. You would have to check that, but indeed it does work. So if we put minus 18a here and multiply it all out, you'll see that you get this expression up here. We know that we are to assume that a is not equal to 16. 
So that means that this thing right here is not equal to zero, but since the product is equal to zero, that tells us that the quadratic term is equal to zero. But now notice this quadratic term is almost exactly this quadratic term, which is our goal. All that it lacks is a plus three instead of a plus one. But we can just add two to both sides of this equation given by this purple, and then we'll have it. So we have a squared minus 18a plus three. Well, think about that three as being one plus two, so that's gonna be the same thing as zero plus two, which is two. And so we've got our final value for our quadratic expression in A. And that's a good place to stop.